is College Football National Championship in March Madness. Look ahead edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. MyBookie is your home for the college championship and NFL playoffs. Use the promo code SGP and get up to $1,000 in free bets. MyBookie.ag, promo code SGP to play, win, and get paid at MyBookie. We're also brought to you by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings app now and use the code SGP for a limited time. Both new and existing users can get a deposit bonus up to $500 on your next deposit. Remember, that's code SGP and you can get a deposit bonus up to $500 only at DraftKings. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in pay per head providers and they make it super easy to start your own sports book. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by PropSwap. PropSwap is America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Go to PropSwap.com to find better odds on your local sports book. Plus, when you use the promo code SGP, you get a 100% deposit bonus up to $100. That's PropSwap.com, promo code SGP. Finally, we're also brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is number one in men's below the belt grooming. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use that code SGP. Ooh, welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I am Sean stacking the money green with my partner picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Cram dog. Howdy, Sean. How's it going? It's we're, going great. We're doing a rare Thursday night podcast. Thursday night talking college a little, football. Yeah, you know what? I take back everything I've said about college football, about the committee. Nothing like a nice, a cool 16 days in between games <laughs> to get people off the scent of college football. Yeah, they've really let any sort of hype and momentum that was going on completely fizzled out. Joining us in studio is always to talk college sports, college football, college basketball. <laughs> He is the database, Colby Dant. Colby, what do you think about the NCAA's decision to let this go this long? Why did they not play the national championship on Monday? Uh, it's just the dumbest idea ever. I don't know. I think they're trying to be like the Super Bowl, and, and, and even worse is the FCS follows it too, and I'm like, what are they doing? What the fuck are both of them doing? You know what I mean? They're idiots. Yeah, why would the, the FCF should be playing like a Thursday night, but yeah. fill that gap of Thursday night NFL with some sweet FCS championship. And, and the FCS does it, wait, it, it does a two-week thing of not playing for two weeks, and then it plays at, at 9 a.m. West Coast time on a Saturday. What the fuck are they doing? Put that Thursday night prime time. We'd all be watching. We'd all be gambling. Yeah. Are they are they on national TV? Yes, ESPN. Maybe that's the only slot they could get. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you tell me, you'd rather watch a Wizards basketball game? I, I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying perhaps that's the best they could do. Perhaps that is the best they could do. Oh man, wrapping up college bowl season with the SGPN Bowl Challenge. Of course, hundred or sorry, a thousand dollars. First place, 500 to second, 100 to third place. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Amos at 31. Big Poppin tied for 31. Gino, 31. Mm. Ben uh, Milinkovic, 30. MC Nose, 29. We'd love if Jordan can play, 28. Johnny B, 28. And a lot of uh, 28. So, again, still a chance to make some movement as you got to put in your uh, final pick here for the College Football National Championship. And you do that at uh, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bowl. So get those picks in. And then maybe one of these people, I don't know, maybe they save their money ball, that three, uh, three X multiplier for the last game. So we could, could have some movement here late. Are we making a pick on the game, Sean? We will be, Ryan. We will be. We're going we're gonna to talk about some big news in the college football world. We're going to do a little uh, college football national championship DraftKings lineup. Oh wow, college football draft king. Yeah, why not, man? Why not? It's the national championship. Let's stretch it out. Let's enjoy it uh as much as we can before we get going. Got to give a shout out to mybookie.ag presenting sponsor of the Sports Gambling Podcast. They got it all over there. You're home for the college football national championship right now. Head over to mybookie.ag. They're going to have a ton of props. Custom prop builder. LSU Clemson squaring off. We'll get to the line 
later on and our picks props we're gonna do it all but hey maybe you fade us maybe you ride us whatever you're doing you can do it over at mybookie.ag you want to play Colby's daily college basketball picks? You can do that over at MyBookie.ag. You want to bet on the NFL playoffs? You can do that at MyBookie.ag. And why not do it with a sweet bonus using that promo code SGP to get up to $1,000? Simple formula. Play, win, and get paid. MyBookie.ag. Promo code SGP. Ooh, and this uh, this LSU wow, relax, Sean. I know. I was jacked up because I saw the LSU squares contest uh, for the LSU Clemson game. How great are squares pools? They really are awesome. It's my favorite time of the year, Sean. I, of course, run a pool, and it's that time where everyone's sending me messages. Hey, man, are you not doing squares this year? (laughs) When are you selling the squares, man? Hey, uh, Brian likes to sell some Super Bowl squares, but they actually have a... uh, They have some some squares here over at my bookie, and uh, yeah, man. Prize pool up to $10,000. I'm going to get in on this. I've never played a college football square. I've only done... The Super Bowl Square. They're trying to do a Super Bowl Square at the Gold's Gym that I go to. Oh, and but yeah, it's like the best case scenario is you win four free personal training sessions. That's not a real prize. I want to win fucking money, like over at my bookie, man. Wow, you've gotten up to this the the part where you start socializing at the gym, huh? (laughs) No, what I didn't that, talk like, to anyone. I just saw the you, giant grid. You're drinking your protein shake after your <laughs> your massive lift, and you're just like, "Hey, bro, yeah. Ryan, you, just, you doing that squares pool?" <laughs> just because I work I bet, out, I bet you can't do four lifts. Right? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Yo, what you you benching two twenty five yet, or what's going on with that? Oh yeah, I'm throwing up plates. Breaking news: Our timeline was lit up like a Christmas tree with news that. Former Washington State football head coach Mike Leach, friend of the program, friend of the podcast, he is heading down to the great state of Mississippi, where he has been named the head coach of Mississippi State. Get out the cowbells and ring in a new era of SEC football. Colby, what was your instant reaction when you heard Coach Leach was uh, was heading out? I mean, uh, I like him at Wazoo, but it, so I mean, it would have been great. But I'm happy for him because he's making a lot more money. And that means we get to go to Starkville, where they yeah. where they don't have coleslaw sandwiches, right? <laughs> Love Wazoo, but maybe maybe they have a little uh, upgraded uh, press food box. <laughs> Ryan, they can get Ryan Mississippi quinoa, and uh, they, yeah, they have chicken on a stick in Mississippi. I'll right? have you know, <laughs> Mississippi is on the forefront of the plant based movement. No way. No. Starkville is on the forefront. Eddie O is getting chicken on the stick in <laughs> fucking Oxford. See, what you don't know about the chicken on the stick is that our man, first of all, Sean, shame on us. Shame on the DGens out there for not letting us know that Coach O's nickname was Bay Bay. <laughs> Bay oh, Bay. That's pretty great. He's putting worms in his mouth. Yeah, well, I you don't know. That, that, that chicken on a stick was actually just a little bit, you know, a little chickpea. <laughs> Yeah, chicken pee, chicken pee on a stick. <laughs> You're gonna go into a gas okay, station. Okay, I and just it. I just did a sample in here. I googled Starkville restaurants. There are 12 different mm-hmm. uh, restaurants with different photos. Lots not, of vegan options. Now one of them has a vegetable <laughs> highlighted. We have a steak, a bulldog burger company, mugshots bar and grill with a giant burger, Starkville cafe with some sort of egg sandwich. It looks to be some sort of bacon. Dave's Dark Horse Tavern with a at uh, just cornucopia of salami <laughs> sausages. Oh, I can't wait to, yeah, I can't wait. To I can't wait it. next year, man. When, when hopefully we, we hit up Leach, get down <laughs> to Stark Starkville, get the cowbells ringing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I never been to Starkville. Sounds exciting. Me neither. I, I don't think I've been in the state of, I think maybe I've driven through the state of Mississippi. I've been to Mississippi. never stopped yeah. there. It's, it's nice. So we're going right. Has coach Leach reached out yet? Are 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 our people talking to his people? Uh, not necessarily about that. how the sports gambling let. podcast. Uh, look, I for one am excited just to, just on the off S-E-C. chance. S E C S E C. Well, yes, I am excited to get. Tell me, you're uh, gonna have to pretend that you don't think the SEC is overrated when Coach Leach comes into Starkville <laughs> and wins the SEC West. Well, well cl- clearly we're gonna be a. a, a pro Mississippi state podcast, oh, but I'm, I'm all but in man. <laughs> how, how annoyed will Nick Saban be to have to deal with 
Um, but not only Lane Kiffin, but yes. Mike Leach shenanigans too. Yeah. This is really a dream team. Coach O of and Leach. Yeah. Every sort of college football coach that yeah. has awesome sound bites <laughs> have come together in the SEC. It's really it's like the Charles like when they got the original dream team where you got your Barkley or You have the <laughs> stereotypical Magic. Bear Bryant, like yeah. Nick Saban coach. Yeah. You have the water boy and Coach O. You have the kid <laughs> the kid the the Wonder Boy and Lane Kiffin. You have the the mad scientist in, in Leech. And then you I have Jimbo. I know, Jimbo. J- you have a guy named Jimbo. <laughs> you have and, a Jimbo, and, and then, he's not even like the top three characters in the SEC coaches. And then and I and I heard this on the cover three again. I'm plugging it. Sean hates Stop. this. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. But the fuck you doing? But uh, like the cover three podcast. But they uh, they told a story where Pittman, the coach of Arkansas, was involved in an incident where I guess there's some five star offensive lineman transferring from Georgia that had his finger severed by a chair, a folding chair. And there's some lawsuit, but anyway, Pittman was the one who picked up the finger and put it into the cooler. Did he so, save his finger? I, I'm, I'm it wasn't the, his own though. No, he didn't save this. Right? He saved yeah. the finger, but the finger wasn't savable. Oh, oh. so well, that's a way less. Uh, that's, cool all I, that's all. <laughs> so I, now he's just got a normal finger. Yeah, in the cooler? It's, it's that's on his trophy all shelf. I, all I know about Pittman other than what, what else do we know about Pittman? Well, he was George's O line coach. He's the boring one. He's an O line coach. So, I was pretty shocked he Look, got that game. Excited for the the SEC uh, to have even more focus, to even more bias. We we might need to get four teams from the SEC West <laughs> in the playoffs. If Mississippi State's one of them, I'm I'm pro. We're going to uh, be accused that. of having SEC bias uh, coming up, and uh, <laughs> you know this is uh, yeah, it's really awesome. And uh, Coach Leach, I mean, he's tweeted out a bunch of great stuff, but he just tweeted out a. Uh, yeah, just a uh, big shout out. Once a coog, always a coog. A, a really uh, class act letter. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it, you can you can check it out over uh, at Coach underscore Leach. Good dude, class act. Looking forward to seeing uh, the pirate ship head down to Mississippi. That it's just going to be fun. I, I think they're really going to embrace it. Even looking at their schedule, Mississippi State has a game on Halloween. The entire crowd yeah. is going to be dressed oh, like pirates. pirates. That's going to be awesome. It's mayhem. I, I think I'm already trying to target that as yeah. a road trip next yeah. year, guys. I'm in. Not I'm that we would actually in. drive there, but you know what I mean. Well, apparently you have to drive there from the Birmingham airport. From from one of our uh, uh, one of our fans was telling me that. I'm in. Unless, unless we, you guys want to really ball and take that private jet right in the start. And, and Ryan, Ryan, this, this. Maybe all- Coach Leach can send the jet. <laughs> yeah, right? send you the know. cowbell get, jet. Get in touch with his people. <laughs> yeah. I'm now this it. was all possible thanks to the New York Giants. And I, how does how is that possible? Well, like we were saying on the podcast yesterday, uh, Joe Judge got hired away. He was. The ink was about to dry on his contract going back to Mississippi State to coach his alma mater. But no. The pay, the Giants had to get their man when they couldn't get their main man, Matt Rule, uh, and Josh McDaniels doesn't want to work with um, Gettleman, and no one really wants to work with Gettleman except Joe Judge. Yeah. So Joe Judge bails on the Mississippi State gig. That creates an opportunity for our boy Mike Leach to get paid. And uh, shout out to Mike Leach. So maybe we'll have to hit him up for a couple bucks. You know, <laughs> guy seems to be doing pretty good for himself. <laughs> But it's really, it's really created kind of this uh, interesting domino effect here. I wonder uh, wh- who do you think is going to end up at Wazoo, Colby? I mean, there's a chance. I think Graham Harrell, the OC of uh, USC. Uh, if I were them, that, that'd be the first person I call. But I also think Alex Grinch, the defensive coordinator from Oklahoma, former DC uh, under Leach, and then uh, I, re- I read that Jim McElwain of Central Michigan, former Florida coach, might get interviewed. No connection to Leach there. So I, I have a feeling Washington State's the kind of program that stays within the family. Pullman's an interesting place. We were just there. Yeah. It's way out of the fucking middle of nowhere. Well, Sarkville's kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, you're, it's more football country. Yeah, yeah. Pullman's not like I wouldn't call it football country. So it's definitely I, I would imagine they stay within. And uh, I, I don't know. Graham Harrell would be, would be fun, right? Yeah. Well, and again, this the as the domino continues to fall, this has created a new opportunity for one of the best offensive minds in the game in the National Football oh, League. There we go. And that is Freddie Kitchens now has an opportunity to become <laughs> the, the Giants', Giants uh, <laughs> offensive coordinator. Ryan, what would you prefer, Jason Garrett at the helm or <laughs> Freddie Kitchens? Freddie Kitchens. Really? We watched it last year. He was competent as an offensive coordinator. The problem with him was him being a head coach. I actually don't have a problem with Freddie Kitchens at all, 
everything we said about Freddie Kitchens this year was about him running the ship. Yeah. If he's just calling plays, that's fine. It um, is always tough to find that line of is the guy just a shitty head coach but good coordinator, or just does he suck at everything? Which and you have to figure that out. The Eagles are looking for a new offensive coordinator, and do you bring in a guy like Caldwell? And it's like eh, he was kind of flat as a head coach, but he was good. At, is he just the OC? Because there definitely are those guys. Guys, how did Eric Bieniemy not get a job? He didn't interview. He, he wasn't did. asked to interview. That's how you have to be interviewed to get a job. But they, they, I mean, is that because the season's still going for them or what? No, I mean, maybe, maybe the Browns will end up reaching out to him. I mean, I thought he will be, I'm sure if he doesn't get one this year, I think he will get a head coaching job next year. It's hard to tell me that judge has more credentials than Eric B Well, I mean, it's hard to say that the <laughs> giants are making great decisions <laughs> in the ownership group. I mean, yeah, have Eric, we, have we got the gavel sound by yet? Cause you guys are both in contempt of court. You like this hire? All you right. Possibly like this hire. Ryan doesn't even like the team anymore. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he throws for five touchdowns. I absolutely like, love this team. I love this hire. And I'll, I'll have you watched video of this Ray guy? Hanley the, part two. The, ooh, that that would be bad. I don't Ray <laughs> Hanley part two. If we dip to those, uh, if you've watched video of this guy, he is a man. He commands the room. How are those other uh, Belichick? So disciples do I. It doesn't doing? mean I should be an NFL head coach, right? How, how are those other Belichick disciples doing? They're well below 500 career. I don't know why you're coming at me. You're a Jets fan. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, we because we Remember? went down that route. We've got a guy named Eric Mangini. I think he's a uh, man genius. Yeah. He did get a Sopranos cameo and a 10 win. Wait, season. was Adam Gase fired? No, oh, Adam wow. Gase is not fired. We, be, we, we beat the giants this year. Yeah. We're not worried about, <laughs> we're not worried about results on the field real quick. <laughs> speaking of results and SGPN nation, shout out to golf correspondent, Steve Shermer again, oh, wow. cranking out amazing golf content over at sports gambling podcast.com. But he, uh, he, he borderline went viral today on the old Twitter responding to a, uh, a, a video that at SNY giants tweeted out of Dave Gettleman saying it's not really a passing league. And Steve <laughs> responded back with 2019 records of teams in top 10 DVOA of passing and rushing yards, <laughs> top 10 rushing DVOA 87, 72 and one top 10 passing DVOA 102 and 58. He's amassed a, a one, an amazing 184 likes and got into like a number of different uh, comment threads. It's pretty, it's pretty great. Uh, Cause Steve is such a polite and well, well researched, well knowledgeable fan going at some of these other people <laughs> do yourself a favor and uh, just check out that thread over at gambling podcast, man, plowing through it. Uh, our gals, our original gals, no longer the San Diego Aztecs, no longer. Uh, head coach Rocky Long, Colby, walk us through this. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, I I did see speculation that he might still be with the staff as a. I'll tell you what's going on here. Yeah. We're running for the hills because <laughs> Brady Hoke. You know he was their head coach previously. Brady Hoke, yeah, Brady, and and unless he's changed he, he his did stance, o- no, he did okay the first stint at San Diego. Unless State. he's changed his stance about wearing a headset on the sideline and actually <laughs> listening to what the coaches are talking about, I'm not backing this team. I will back this team because I, I first it's like I, a person <laughs> who just blatantly puts on hardcore pornography at their job. Like, what are you doing? You're clearly not working if you don't have a headset, dude. But uh, at least pretend. It, Put uh, the volume down. At first, when Rocky, the optics are horrible. At first, when Rocky Long, uh, you know, said he was retiring, I was very, I was like, man, they're going to Brady Hoke. I don't know how this is going to work out for them defensively. But then when I read that uh, Long might stay on as the DC, what? You didn't see that? He might stay on the why, staff. Why would he do that? Because he's seventy years old and he just, just wants, wants to, to hang out. Yeah. He wants a part time job. He's one of these guys that's just gonna die. When well, he, ends, I mean, so. he's a legendary defensive coordinator. So if he stays on at DC, well, yeah, I mean, the, clearly the problem wasn't the defense this year. Oh no, that's what I'm saying. If anything, Rocky Long doesn't. He's known for a run, run heavy, great defense. They just didn't have a quarterback this year. They still won ten games. <laughs> I fuck? know. I, well, yeah. that's what happens when you have like a a top ten pass defense and a top yeah. ten run defense. But but I, I like what's going on. I mean, look, I still I'm, I'm still ready to, to to say it's our gals, and I, I'm ready to say I'm not. Are you guys watching them in college basketball? Because there's a great chance oh they're going to go undefeated yeah. and be uh, a one seed. I know. So our gals are really doing it. We can't we can't we can't replace our gals until after San basketball Diego. season. Yeah. I mean, superchargers charge. Remember, like I think two years ago. They weren't going to make the tournament at all, but then they ran the table in the Mountain West tournament, 
and and got into the tournament and actually like. I think we were I mean, heavy look, on them in the Mountain West tournament. Ever yeah, since awesome. yeah. I watched Kawhi Leonard, I'm going to plug myself because I was in on Kawhi Leonard <laughs> way before all y'all fucking posers. <laughs> back back I'm a then. Fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Wow, really yeah. broke Ryan yeah. up with that. How you one. doing there, huh? Well, I, so that, that first game where he did that hold up, hold up, whatever that was, that, yeah. I was there for that. And I. I, I don't know if I've ever laughed so hard at a sporting event in my <laughs> <laughs> He's he's like a fucking big ass black superhero who's a giant nerd. It's the greatest thing ever. I still hate how he takes random days off. It's kind of like nah, you man. it's kind of like you soy boy, right? I'll tell you what. I've been I've now <laughs> they're both dealing with inflammation. <laughs> I've now been to two Clippers games this year and I watched I watched large men just bounce off of him. Anyway, let's get back to college. Are you, are you justifying that? I, I'm a Kawhi Leonard guy. I like San Diego State. I think the football program. Let's get it. If Brady Hoke is the coach, we're going to have to talk about where we transition to. Perhaps it's if Long Miss, stays on, I'm feeling good. Perhaps it's Mississippi State. Perhaps it's somewhere else. We'll see. All right, uh, <laughs> Hawaii. We're going to move over to the DraftKings lineup in just a second, but. Hmm. Another uh, celebrating an anniversary. This is the 14 year anniversary of Joe Buck and uh, this sound drop. So just want to do a quick salute. That is a disgusting act. 14 years ago, <laughs> Joe Buck losing his mind on television for uh, a fake mooning. Well, while we're talking about hilarious thing that things that announcers have said. Should should we play that? Perfect. Was that high oh, school high yes. school yes. basketball? This yes. is an amazing clip. It's <laughs> It, it's right up there with almost uh, almost as good as the boom goes the dynamite we'll, guy. We'll put this on our Instagram so you can check it out there as well. Sports Gambling Podcast. Let it rip, Kramer. Well, and then there's Maybe one more, the, gone, yes, there's one more yes. gone but not forgotten, and that's uh, our sweet days or our sweet Lucy. Uh, at the age of 12, she was run over oh, yes. in our driveway. Oh, oh, like that? Was she run over like Jeez. <laughs> like basically there's a steal a, a breakaway the guy dunks over someone as, <laughs> as he's talking about his dead the dog other announcers cat. never had an animal no never had a fucking animal he acted like it was just nothing it was like kirk cousins yeah. over there you like that <laughs> you like that <laughs> oh you like man that. You like that. that's a good <sighs> clip man that's a good clip right there you know what i like winning tons and tons of cash over at DraftKings.com. You're looking at him. Second place, Millionaire Maker. I don't like to bring it up because a lot of people are like, Sean, you're not one to brag. You're a humble man. Yes, but you know, I want to help people achieve their dreams. That's why I started this podcast with Kramer, to help people achieve their dreams. You could be a millionaire. You could literally be a millionaire. And I know they wire you the money. You're getting that money that week. You could be refreshing your bank account and all of a sudden seven figures appear there. It could happen. All you got to do, go to DraftKings.com. They are the leader in one day fantasy football. They even got lineups for the uh, national championship. But again, the million dollar maker, the million dollar prize is, of course, for the NFL playoffs. Playoffs? Yeah, we're talking about playoffs. And again, nothing adds to the sweat of watching the game quite like having a shot at one million big ones. They had a little uh, extra on it. New and existing users can get a deposit bonus up to $500. If you're like me, you're playing DraftKings anyway. Why not redeposit? Get that sweet deposit bonus. Get the, get the old DK account loaded up, ready to go for the playoffs. Nice uh, slates. We gave out our DraftKings uh, lineups earlier in the week. Even talked to our, our boy uh, John Jackson. Does the DFS flow charts, and we're we're cranking out for every NFL playoff game. We're giving out showdown lineups. So those are lineups specifically for that one game. All over at SportsGamblingPodcast.com. Use that promo code SGP. Get a deposit bonus up to five hundred dollars. Minimum five dollar deposit required. Deposit bonus requires twenty five x roll over. Eligibility restrictions apply. Jeffkings.com for details. Kramer, kick things off. What are you doing in the captain seat? And again, the captain seat is uh, one and a half times the points and one and a half times your budget. So if you go the most expensive guy, you're really straining your budget. Uh, what's what's your move here, Kramer? 
Uh, so I, I was I I had Chase in there for a bit. I kind of wanted to play a lineup that was just heavy on LSU and and realizing that the quarterbacks are so expensive, it's going to be tough to play them if you want to get enough good talent. So, uh, yeah, I, I threw the running back in there for LSU. I don't know. I watched. I was watching some practice film earlier today. He looks healthy. Yeah. Is he not healthy? Thirteen thousand five hundred in the captain seat. I watched him uh, explode out of some cuts. What was the injury? Like a hamstring or something like that? Yeah, it was something. Uh, Groin. Yeah. Maybe. He looked healthy. Uh, he he's a he was a big part of the offense all year. Uh, yeah. Burrow certainly trusts him. Definitely looks looks to him. I think with them facing a, a bit of a upgrade on the defensive side of the ball, uh, we're 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 gonna see him getting involved. They didn't need him last week against Oklahoma. They'll need him this week. I wanted to be a little contrarian. Well, two hopefully. weeks ago against Oklahoma. Sorry. <laughs> Two and a half a, weeks. A month ago. 15 so days. Yeah. <laughs> I went uh, for my captain spot. I Four did go. Score and <laughs> I did go with uh, Jama Chase. Oh. Again, he's had a huge season, 75 catches, 18 touchdowns. I, I just don't think, I mean, Justin Jefferson, he had what? Four touchdowns in that first half. That's kind of insane. I want to fade Jefferson. Not that I don't think he'll have a good game, but I, there's just no way that happens again. And if. Clemson and Devo Sweeney is a sane man. They're going to try and uh, take him out to some degree. I, I just think that's, I think chase is probably the guy that goes off, but again, not super contrarian, but uh, yeah. And uh, 12,900 in the captain spot, Colby, what are you doing for your captain? I'm going chalk mm. going burrow. Ooh. Okay. Going chalk. Uh, just burrows. I mean, he's the best player in college football. And, and and I just think he's going to do it again. Throw for three hundred, five touchdowns, something like 55 that. Fifty-five touchdowns, six interceptions. It does That's seem insane. It does seem hard to not play him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kramer, what are you doing for your second guy? You're making me question this this approach. Uh, also have Chase. Uh, I'll I'll run him out now since you brought him up. I think uh, it, he was. I played. I, I I've been quietly in the closet dabbling in a little college DFS this year. It's very, it's way more like crack than NFL. It's crazy. Uh, but Chase uh, for the semifinal game was like, I think 10,000 or 9,900. So huge adjustment his, down. His price is over adjusted. Uh, give me Chase, 8,600. Yeah. I, uh, for my second guy, I went Joe Burrow. Uh, again, insane, uh, insane numbers. They're passing all over. There's even talk that the uh, offensive coordinator for LSU, possibly uh, Baylor, right? Well, Baylor head coach, but they're even talking about uh, some of the guys at LSU uh, for the uh, Eagles OC. So that'll oh. be interesting. I mean, their their passing games look great. Eddie O is, uh, I mean, it just feels like LSU's year. But yeah, give me Joe Burrow, a uh, twelve thousand eight hundred. What are you doing for your second guy, Colby? Well, I'm with Chase as well, eighty six hundred. Uh, look, I, I'm going to go heavy on. Uh, I'm going to go heavy on receivers for LSU because I think okay. they're going to throw the hell out of the ball. Um, yeah, so I think that that's the play there. Now, who's going to be the Scott Tolzien for you? Because uh, you'll probably be doing good. <laughs> and I'm wondering, so so it's going to be Trevor Lawrence since, since you took Burrow then. Well, we'll see. We'll see because you can play both quarterbacks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kramer, what would you do? Who's your third guy? I uh, gave you Chase. So, uh, yeah, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm actually restructuring now because I don't want to be the asshole who doesn't play Joe Burrow. So give me Joe Burrow, 12,800. <laughs> Colby, you mentioned Trevor Lawrence. He's not going to screw me, or at least in, uh, in that sense. Like him, Scott huh? Tolzien. I, I'm playing the double QB lineup. Give me Trevor Lawrence, $10,800. Uh, if you got drunk enough, nice. you might think he was a chick, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to get our shit going, man. Uh, he's got, he's got, he's got a nice hair. We'll get penetration. <laughs> I, the rushing yards are really attempting with uh, Trevor Lawrence. And you saw that in that comeback against Ohio state that he wasn't afraid to run. And he, he, he broke off a couple big ones. I like the, uh, I mean, again, the, the total for this game, I think is like 69 and a half. So uh, it could be, it could be crazy. And I feel like you got to get both quarterbacks in there as chalky as it is. These guys just both rack up an insane amount of points. Colby, what'd you do for your third player? I'm going with Travis Etienne because I this guy's just electric with the ball. Yeah, he's that, fun to watch. You could get it could be like a you could have like a 90 yard run, a screen pass for 70 yards. You know, he goes sometimes they put him in receiving routes where he actually goes a little bit down the field, a little Thurman Thomas action on you. Uh, so I like this play. I, I think you know the LSU defense still probably the weak point of the team. So I I think Etienne's going to get his. 
Yeah, and he didn't have a huge game, so nice bounce back opportunity. Uh, Kramer, what are you doing? Same thing. Uh, he he's his price. Uh, I, I don't think it's down much, but say, he got bottled up. D- feels like he won't get bottled up again. Also, feels like they're going to get him awfully involved in the passing game. So Ohio State's defense is better than LSU's defense. So yeah, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps at defending oh. the running back. I, I would say against it's the running back, it's a lot better. better. Yeah. I think there's second. I mean, LSU has a secondary, pretty good secondary. Yeah, yeah. My fourth guy, Thaddeus, <laughs> Thaddeus Moss. Come on. Thaddeus Moss. Do you know who his dad hundred. is? Randy Moss. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, I, I mean, we see. all have him, obviously, yeah. for that yeah. reason. How could you right? not have? Yeah. That is a it's disgusting, disgusting <laughs> act. In the, it's, it's just, it's kismet, as, uh, as my people say. Th- Thaddeus Moss. $4,200. He showed a, a ton of potential in that last game, four catches, 99 yards, including a 62 yarder. I think again, I think they're going to roll coverage to Jefferson. And I think that creates opportunities for both chase and Moss. So who's your, who's your guy, Colby? Who's uh, your next I'm one? on Dre Jenkins wide receiver LSU. So, so I, I like I said, I think they're going to throw the hell out of the ball. You know, obviously uh, Venables is going to come up with with option. I think they're going to double the top wide out. Jenkins will get some opportunities. So give me, uh, give me uh, Dre Jenkins. Kramer, uh, I I had four. I had fifteen hundred dollars. Um, did you know Kirk Herbstreet's kid goes to Clemson? I think he's got two kids there, right? Someone told me that. Ty Herbstreet. Uh, anyway, no, I, I so I, I just trolling around looking for guys uh, below fifteen hundred who actually play. Uh, and I came across JC chalk going chalk. Huh? And after seeing my chalk lineup, what oh, better way what <laughs> to fit a guy named chalk in there? Hey, he had three catches last uh, game. Somehow only had three yards on those three <laughs> catches, but, hey, but he's due to break one. Then. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I had $1,500 left. What are you yeah. going to do for wait? You already, you only, yeah, you, you have, gave out all your guys. Yeah. What? Oh, you must have doubled up somewhere in there. I probably, I, I, yeah, there was a lot of overlap. I'm sorry. I'll I'm recap. going uh, <laughs> for my fifth guy. I'm going Cade York. <laughs> He's only $3,800. I think the scoring, uh, the total is really high, but I wouldn't be surprised if. <laughs> Wait, I already gave out six and you haven't given yeah, out Yeah, I, I haven't yeah. given out my fifth yet either. The fuck is You probably going on, just dude? miscounted yeah. uh, Vape Pen over there. <laughs> Cade York, $3,800. I wouldn't be surprised if the scoring isn't quite as insane as everyone thinks. Anytime everyone comes into a game, it's like, it's going to, the total's so insanely high. It's going to be crazy. And that just, the, the, the layoff, maybe there's some red zone passes they drop. I, I, I could see a decent number of field goals uh, in the game. And I wouldn't, I don't know what the field goal prop is off the top of my head, but I would probably lean over. Give me Cade York at 3,800. Colby, what's your number five guy? Uh, I'm going Thaddeus Moss here, 4,200. Yep. I think that's the play here. You know, obviously the pedigree. I'm going on the pedigree. I mean, I'm going to, I'll be honest for a second. Once we got past like the first like seven guys, I, the, the name started being a little foreign to me. So I, I was like, other than taking two kickers, because no one wants to do that, I figured I would, you know, <laughs> take the I guy. I did have a lineup where I was. <laughs> take the guy related to Randy Moss. <laughs> All right. Yeah, fair enough. I uh for my last guy, I wanted to get a little stack going with uh Trevor Lawrence. So I looked over, I didn't have a ton of cash left. I did have forty eight hundred dollars available to me to score Amari Rogers. Not a not a huge season, but um he did have a thirty eight yard catch against Ohio State. Coming off a decent season at twenty eight catches, four hundred and eighteen yards, five touchdowns. So maybe he's at Boom bus guy that really swings my lineup. So give me Amari Rogers, Colby. I'm going kicker, BT Potter. Ooh, okay. Look, I got a feeling maybe this game's closer than we think, and uh, BT Potter comes out, kicks a big, big time 52 yarder to win oh. the game. College kickers, they always make those. <laughs> it is in a dome. It's at New least. Orleans, buddy. All right. So it's, this is the this is the final game, dude. You know what I mean? They, they're okay. gonna get up for this. You know. They don't have another game like three weeks from now. They might. It's called the, the East, East West they, Shrine Bowl, Bowl too, <laughs> that they're uh, dusting off. It. I mean, college football. They just they can't help but fuck things up. I know. It's so uh, it's like I'm already in college basketball mode. You know what I mean? Like I'm already full on college basketball mode. Now. Yeah, I yeah. was the the playoff run there was exciting, and I was I I got some. But now the NFL playoffs kind of stole all their thunder. At and least hey, they put I'm, the national championship on a Monday though. Yeah, that makes sense. But why? Why not put it on a Friday? 
Yeah. Why, not, why is it not Friday night? Come on. And then you have the the four NFL games and even the uh, FCS. Listen, Sean, as programming well? television is hard. Or just a bigger playoff. Huh? Exactly. Uh, Kurt Herbstreit, twin sons, Ty and Jake, both. Yeah, close to They're uh, preferred walk-ons. Ooh, that means your your parents are famous. And they want preferred walk on. Yeah. I actually have a uh, preferred. They're eating soy on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> I have a preferred uh, paperhead site, and it's aceperhead.com slash sgp. Ace per head. They set you up. You're trying to start your own sports book. I mean, think about it. You could be booking the national championship game. You could be trying to get even money on both sides. So you could collect that sweet sweet vig again. Why try and beat the bookie when you can simply become a bookie over at aceperhead.com slash SGP getting started over at ACE super easy. They offer up to uh, six weeks free. If you use our signup code aceperhead.com slash SGP, they offer live betting and an amazing mobile experience 24 seven top notch customer support. Even know a guy who uh, locally Ryan runs his book through ACE per head, likes it, enjoys the support, uh, good technical support and uh, a lot of options. So, Check them out. Acebread.com slash SGP. You also could have booked all that sweet, sweet Browns to win the Super Bowl <laughs> action that all these that you were throwing out there, Ryan. I was trying to. You were trying to throw that out there. Let's get into the actual national championship. Clemson plus six, minus 115 right now over at my bookie. LSU minus six, minus 105. Uh, Clemson plus 185 on the money line. LSU minus 225. We Tigers, I said it was 69 and a half earlier. The total has gotten up to 70 points. That is high. Colby, how are you breaking this game down? What are you doing? Um, You know, I, I just think I'm going to got to take the points here. Clemson's got experience. They've been there before. I understand it's in New Orleans. I understand that Clemson's played, you know, the ACC schedule. So they're fresh. They're real fresh. Um, But getting two weeks to prepare, Venables – you know, going to dial up some some type of defensive scheme to challenge Burrow a little bit and uh, keep them in the game. So give me Clemson in the points. I think LSU wins the game, but Clemson in the points. How many points did mm. they? How many points did they? Uh, did they score last week? Who? Clemson. Who's they? Clemson. Uh, I was like, I think I don't know, thirty-one or something. Thirty-one. Like that. Yeah. Right? How something many points like they give up? What, Twenty-seven or something. What Twenty-seven. Was yeah. Well, was it twenty-seven? Am yeah. I right? You think LSU's <laughs> offense? Yeah. You think LSU's offense is better or worse than Ohio State? Uh, better passing, worse running, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, and see, I to me that's where Clemson's going to get. I think I I I don't think Clemson's been tested. I know they beat Ohio State. Uh, some controversial calls helped them too. LSU rolls here. What do we got the number at, Sean? Five and a half. Five and a half, six right now. My bookie mm. and even the juice minus one fifteen. Could go up to six and a half. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets as high as seven. I'm getting in Clemson. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not. I'm I'm on LSU minus six, <laughs> minus one hundred five. You sorry, got that? I, you got that? I, 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 I had like five windows open, uh, four of which are not hardcore pornography. That blackjack game going on. <laughs> Place your bets, please. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. I, I. It's scary to bet against this Clemson team. Trevor Lawrence has not lost a college football game. Twenty five and zero straight up. 19 and six against the spread Clemson 28. No in their last 28. That's insane to go against it. They're even 11 and three against the spread this year. LSU though, not too shabby at nine, three and two. This just feels like LSU's year. This the Eddie O coming out party, the Joe burrow, clearly the number one guy. Normally I would like to fade a, a guy coming off throwing seven touchdown passes, but in a weird way, I think uh, what's been bad for hyping this game up, but what's actually good for LSU is like so much time has passed. I think I think they're not reading their own press clippings. They're they're coming in, uh, just like treating this as if it's a normal game. Eddie O really seems to have these guys dialed in. I know I know Dabo has been, you know, getting on his motivation. Like they don't respect us. They don't believe in us. Well, to your point, they haven't lost the game since I, Trevor Lawrence. And, and they're really, and they're a six point dog. So. Yeah. And so maybe they're right. Maybe they don't. I mean, yeah. All of that being said, you 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 bring up the buzz saw in the NFL, Sean. I mean, <laughs> LSU is that buzz saw in college football. I mean, Joe Burrow is not losing this game. 
You can still, the, the spread you, you can won't still matter. Win. The spread won't matter. You I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be a blowout. It, I, I, I don't know if Clemson... Has Clemson ever gotten blown out? No. Even with Watson, they didn't get blown out. I just don't know if... The, I mean, this... The, can they win a shootout? They probably I don't haven't know. been blown out in five years. Can. I don't think... It, <laughs> If they win, it's definitely under. I think it's probably under either way just because Dabo's smart. He knows he can't get in a shootout here. I, I think he knows that between LSU's defensive backs and the fact that Joe Burrow is lights out right now, you got you, you got to slow this down. Is Trevor Lawrence, though, just as good as Joe Burrow, like college football quarterback-wise? No. I think it's close. No, not this year. I think it's close. Not this year. Uh, but like total body of work, Trevor Lawrence is. Pretty I'm just awesome. saying for one game, can you really? T- I mean, look, I'm. I, I'm I, I think and, LSU's going to win. And I think you yeah. saw that against Ohio State. Trevor Lawrence's ability to bring the team back. Trevor Lawrence's ability to just run the ball when he really needed it to. I've never. I've watched college football my whole life, and I've never seen a quarterback like Trevor Lawrence. And and to their credit, Clemson has at least seen some adversity. Trevor Lawrence. this season uh, has LSU really. What was the craziest game that LSU? Uh, uh, what's uh, the biggest Al- challenge? Auburn, I think maybe Auburn game. I mean, they're both fifteen and uh, they're, you know they're both fourteen and zero. But I, I'm I don't not know. sure you, we should discredit they, them beating the shit out of Alabama, right? No, of course that's a huge win. Look, I I think LSU's like been the best team in the nation this year, but I think for one game. Like I said, I think Burrow's the best quarterback this season. But for one game, I do think you got to kind of wipe the slate clean and say, hey, yeah, you know, both these quarterbacks are freaking amazing. Joe Burrow on yeah. this team this season are not being beat, and I don't think the spread matters because I think they're scoring touchdowns. It's part of the reason I ended up without a kicker in my DFS lineup. They're LSU thirty-five, Clemson thirty-one. Clemson's going to go up thirty-one wow. twenty-eight. Somehow that still that is under. <laughs> yeah, well, I. Right? I'm not a totals guy, and th- the game will almost certainly go over now. But I, I got to imagine, especially if you like Clemson, if you like Clemson money line, parlay it with the under. Yeah, I don't see yeah. how Clemson wins this game in a shootout. If it's a shootout, LSU is winning by 17. Man, I say it's. Uh, uh, I say LSU 35, Clemson 20. You want an exact score? Sure, throw it out there. LSU. I'll, I'll stick. I'll. I'll say 38. LSU 38, Clemson 24. Yeah, it, it, it does feel like a 14-point game. If you're getting bold, throw it into a pleaser. I dare you. Again, if you don't know what a pleaser is, it's just like a it's like a teaser, but you're given the points the other it's way. It's like a rusty trombone. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's complete reversal. <laughs> so it's only for hashtag uh, DJs here's only. Here's the thing. A rusty trombone ends with a, pos- <laughs> a couple positives, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know if a ple- pleasers, pleasers don't often end with positives, <laughs> right? Ple- pleasers, you're just getting fucked. Rusty Chabron, uh, like if you were administ- higher, higher percentage rate. <laughs> if you were administering the rusty Long trombone, Cox. you're on you to something. Be- <laughs> you're on to something. <laughs> worth, uh, worth getting uh, into. Not, uh, there is a college football <laughs> game on Saturday, and it's the FCS championship game. A real playoff. James Madison. Again, what they do not need these two weeks off. Squaring off against North Dakota State. Frisco, Texas. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Did not close that. to either yeah. program. 9 a.m. Uh, West, neutral game. West Coast kick. Uh, this game is a pick right now. Total sitting at 48 and a half. You know how I roll. North Dakota State. Hashtag bison strong it's it, frisco texas is that a uh that's a dome game right no outdoors oh, no. okay gets a little cold from what i understand but um look uh jm bison o- are used to the cold J- J- sorry they're buffalo jm you opened up jm you no, opened up as a two point favorite and uh and now i see the money's came down you know i'm gonna i'm gonna take a shot here look i think north dakota st- like i'm i i want north dakota state to win this game because i want them to step up a level because this would be, uh, I think, what, eight out of nine years, national championships. But I think JMU is going to win this game because North Dakota State starting a freshman quarterback. Uh, JMU starting a senior quarterback, Ben DiNucci, former Pitt quarterback, and he wasn't bad at Pitt. He just elected to transfer to JMU, <laughs> which was random. He was good at Pitt. 31 degrees at kickoff. Jesus Christ. I'm loving it. 20-mile-an-hour wind. Hey, SEC, take note. This is football. 
S E C S E C. James Madison. Football weather. The, Don't go against yeah. the conference, Colin. I know, but just give me conference cold over party. Just give me some cold weather in football, right? I'm sick of all these bowl games being in domes or being in Miami or Arizona. Play a game at Soldier Field. Play a game at Lambeau. Play a game at you know. Uh, uh, and I don't mean just a, a, a shit bowl game. Give us a good bowl game. Money is split for uh, 46 for JMU, North Dakota State, 54% of the tickets, but 27% of the dollars on JMU, 73% on North Dakota State. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we, I'm we going to stick with my original prediction, and that is uh, James Madison, right? Yeah. We've both been there. Yeah, definitely. Party. Standards aren't super yeah. high from the uh, mental <laughs> capability, so definitely a fun school. F- f- fun story here. I was at JMU one time, and I partied there, and I uh, eventually I gave away my, my – it was a, a fake ID for me, but it was a real ID of my brother, NC Nick. Mm. Oh, so, no. So, so here's what's great is I, I don't go to JMU for like two years. I come back. I'm at a no party. Way. I'm at a party, and someone comes up to me and says, "Hey, dude, what's up? I, I got your brother's ID." Really? A, a guy who I so I didn't give this guy it. He got it hand, handed down. That's so, awesome. Uh, you know, NC Nick do, doing it for the people. That's you know awesome. what I mean? <laughs> and I should have mentioned this earlier, Sean, but uh, Clemson only twenty percent of the action. So there you really? go. Really? Yeah. It's that. Wait, it's that imbalance? Because I'm yep. seeing other places where it's more yep. 55, 45. 25 percent of the tickets, 20 percent of the dollars. The only thing that truly scares me about LSU is the fact that Odell Beckham mm. uh, gave a bunch of the LSU people like a gift, oh, and no. that guy, oh no, that guy just has curse oh, written no. all over Odell Beckham. How's that an NCAA infraction, right? No, I, I think there, they. Right? I think maybe they could be uh, technically. <laughs> <laughs> got a got a couple of uh, college football. So we all like the under. I, I do because I think it's yeah, anytime the the total's that high and everyone's on it. I love to go. Uh, I love to uh, take the other side. Got some fun uh, fun little prop bets here. What do we want to get into? Will Odell Beckham Jr. be shown during the game? Yes, minus tw- one twenty. No, minus one twenty. Colby, what are you doing? I'm going yes. Kramer. <sighs> What's the juice on the yes? What's the price? It's about even. Okay. Yes. One twenty. Yes. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're going to talk about. They're, they they're going to show, show Randy him. Moss, and they're going to show him. You know, will twenty nine in a row be said during the broadcast? Plus one fifty. Yes. Oh, I'm all minus two hundred. No. How is that? Are that's, you kidding? That, me? That's a hundred percent. Bet <laughs> that one. Lock that up. Yeah. That is yeah. that is a stone cold yes. <laughs> They're gonna say that in the first like three minutes of the of the broadcast. If not, they should all be fired. <laughs> Kramer, are you also on the yes here? Yeah. Why? How, how how's this how's this price this way? This way is there some trick with the words? I, I don't know. Read it. I again. mean, it will quote twenty nine in a row end quote be said during the broadcast? Wait, are they twenty eight in a row right now? So this would be the twenty ninth. Meaning yeah. they would have to have the lead, but they're still gonna they're still gonna open they're up. Going they're going for go for twenty nine in yeah. a row. Yeah, this is gonna happen. This is a, this is sure sure bet. I, There's got to be. I'm curious. It smells bad. This smells really bad. <laughs> smells a little fishy. <laughs> Seems too easy. This one is uh this one's pretty awesome. Will refrigerator Perry be shown during the broadcast? Of of course, famous uh Clemson. Clemson, yeah. Clemson guy. Yes, plus three hundred. No, minus five hundred. Mm. I I'm all give over me some no. fridge. Is he on the sideline? <laughs> I'm all over no because last time I saw him, he wasn't looking the greatest. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Like, know. <laughs> I don't know that they're no gonna a, <laughs> they don't want to bum people out with a shot of the fridge. I love would refrigerator he, Perry. Would he too. be like in a like a scooter on the sideline? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, you're I right. Mean, he's not. It's a bad look. Just do a fr- little Google Google image. Yeah, fridge unless is- unless he's lost some weight or something. <laughs> you get the lap band surgery. And he, I think he needed he's some dental work. Fridge. I think he needed some dental work too. <laughs> Quick side note: If you've never watched the movie Windy City Heat, <laughs> it is it is one of the funniest movies of all time. And uh, oh. Fridge uh, Perry has a uh, has a scene in it. Here's a, here's a fun one actually tied to the game. Longest completion: Joe Burrow minus one twenty. Trevor Lawrence minus one twenty. So pretty much even here. I'm going I'm going Burrow. I, I think longest rush goes to Trevor Lawrence, but longest pass. Give me Burrow all day there. That's pretty easy. Yeah, Wait. I don't think Refrigerator Perry's going to be at the game. In 2016, <laughs> he was living in a retirement uh, facility <laughs> by oh, himself no. and was 450 pounds. <laughs> yeah. And there's a picture of him at a Bears game in a wheelchair. 
Oh. All right, so tough times for the fridge. <laughs> Class act. Though. What was that? Pre- he was the. He was basically the. Uh, he was one of the guys that th- is basically the first Super Bowl prop bet ever. Oh yeah, and, and this touch? like took off a Super Bowl prop bets was Refrigerator Perry. So, kind of fitting that he's included there. I'm going uh, longest completion, Joe Burrow, Colby. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Trevor Lawrence. I think Etn out of the backfield gonna bust like an 80 yard screen. That's what it has to be, right? Yeah, yeah. See, Joe Burrow is gonna throw like a uh, number he's, of. He's gonna have balls. like five touchdowns, but it's he, not gonna be. What's the yeah. price on Burrow? It's it's even what? on both. Something smells bad, right? But that that's not right. Like, there's no. I saw. Clemson's that's not more... right. That Clemson is not going to have an opportunity. It, it's a, it's going to be a long pass to a running back, if anything. Uh, Joe Burrow all day. But that, I think Clemson not actually correct. has more big play offense. Maybe. Like, but LSU not... can get strike down the field and, and move at big chunks. But Clemson is like, any time they touch the ball, it could be an 80-yard touchdown. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what they did to Ohio State, essentially. <sighs> Look at their, their touchdowns. They're all gigantic plays. Oh, yeah. All right, I think I think we wrapped it all up, right? College. Yeah. yeah. We told them they should do the game earlier, and uh, we made picks. Yeah, exactly. If you want to get in on uh, the college championship, national college championship, you can head over to PropSwap.com. There's some Clemson uh, title tickets out there. There's some LSU title tickets out there. There's some, there's some Heisman tickets. They got a little bit of everything over at PropSwap.com. You can buy and sell active sports bets. Again, for the seller, great chance to hedge out, get some guaranteed cash. And for the buyer, hey, it's an open market, so you get a little uh, a little better price than you may find elsewhere. And if you use our promo code SGP, 100% match up to $100. No rollover or anything. All you got to do, deposit SGP. Here you go, a little nugget from uh, this past week, Sunday. Better who wagered 500 bucks in the 49ers to win the NFC Championship, 14-1. to 1. Sold that ticket on PropSwap for $3,300. If the ticket wins, the buyer will profit $4,200, giving them odds of plus 125, better than any other sportsbook in the country. So you're beating out minus 110, minus 125, wherever it's at. So, again, PropSwap.com. Get the best price you can and get that sweet little bonus action using the promo code SGP. Refrigerator Perry could... Do a 360 dunk. Damn. In his prime. Really? I can't imagine that guy jumping there's at a, all. There's a grainy video of him doing a box jump that's got to be like him jumping up to his waist level. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Like it, Anyway. Yeah, it, unclear. It looks like he started bouncing back since 2016. Yeah. But, maybe he's going to do the coin toss. But how do you get out of that retirement facility, huh? Well, it seems like there was a picture of him on campus at Clemson in 2018. So. All right. So he's there's been a fridge sighting. <laughs> he's not easy to oh, miss. Oh, other bit of news. Coming back to Mike Leash, I, I meant to mention it earlier. I did do a little research. There is a little bit of Bigfoot chatter down there in Mississippi. Oh, really? So, yeah. That I think, isn't like nice, Chupacabra nice, territory? Nice. No, no, no. There's definitely there's been a, a couple massive footprints found. Apparently, there's a lot of wildlife down there, like jaguars Boars, and panthers yeah. and shit. But apparently there's been some large footprints found. Nice. So uh, there we go. Maybe Mike Leach is just on the recruiting trail for one Bigfoot. That, that's very, very possible. <laughs> and he realized he's, going, he's the, getting really rich while he's doing it. He's going he's <laughs> trying to find the ever elusive, uh, <laughs> the ever elusive Bigfoot for, <laughs> I mean, Bigfoot would be in the SEC, right? Cause it's the, it's the best conference. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> probably mm, mm. guys. I see what you're doing. You got Bigfoot's like gotta be right? playing for a, a, a national championship. Every year. Colby, let's, let's crack one open. Would, uh, would be remiss. We got some extra time here. Do we? Yeah. Oh, because we're going to talk a little college basketball. I'm hoping to go to bed early. <laughs> that's always that's always great uh, podcast and radio when the host <laughs> says he wants to go to bed. Stay tuned for some exciting talk. Too much soy today for a guy. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, the, did you fall off the wagon and accidentally have a piece of jerky? After the break, I'll tell you about my eggplant and tofu dish at lunch. <laughs> All right, Colby. Uh, admittedly, haven't watched a ton no. of college basketball yet. Oh, yeah. It's coming. 
Well, Sean, but we give are, it, give we me are a going primer. to Vegas. We are going to Vegas. March we will be in Vegas. 18th to the 21st. We're trying to put together an event. But either way, we'll be out there partying, getting super drunk and high and putting a ton of bets on and just going crazy. <laughs> so come out to Las Vegas. <laughs> I don't know. So if, if I need to sell Las Vegas to you on this podcast, then. And March Madness. Do you yeah, like, I mean, like betting on sports? Do you like watching basketball? <laughs> well, and, and who and knows? do you like being able to openly critique titties all day long? Is Decker going to be there and will he have an edible? That is, of course, Decker will be there. <laughs> Superchargers. Charge. That is, not, that is a, not a good combo. Decker and edibles. <laughs> I, like a, either with myself, too. You it's get, like a you, trank dart for uh, Colby <laughs> and, and, and Decker. They just go knocked out. You guys you took got, me to a nice dinner, and I couldn't. Uh, gotta I was having the, mental battles. You guys was, didn't know that, but I had mental battles. That was when battles. Colby was still willing to accept free dinners from us, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Colby, Colby called out, out a couple sick in for a row. the company uh, party. And I didn't go to Vegas for football? No, you didn't. Just slapping our hospitality right in her face. So why don't you do us a favor, Colby six pack, give us three teams. You're in on college basketball wise, three teams you're out on. I know San Diego state, they've been killing it right now. I mean, is there a chance there? I, I think you and you and Patty C hit on it, but for the, the millions of people who missed that episode are, is, <laughs> is San Diego state a one seed or are they uh do they have a chance? I mean, that, that, yeah, if they can. I mean, first off, this year's college basketball is going to be. I think it's going to be really wild because no team is definitively like, wide uh, open field. Yeah, yeah. that uh, that does always make fun. Or I mean, just again, watching from the outside, it seems like every team who's been dubbed the number one team gets upset. Yeah. There's this has to be a record for storming the court, it, right? It, because it, yeah. all these big teams are getting upset. It reminds me of '07 college football. It was kind of like this. No one wanted to be in the top five. It seemed like. So, so I think it. it San, Diego, it San Diego State has a great chance to be a number one seed, and also has a great chance to to. I mean, if any year, you can. I mean, depending on the bracket and where they get and what they draw, they also have to win at New Mexico, the pit, which is a really hard place to win. Um, but if they were to win in all these places, um, and, and get a one seed, you you gotta say they'd have as good a shot as anybody. Yeah, they're an athletic team and they're deep. Did they make it in your three? Why don't you give us the three teams you're off? Uh, Ken first. Palm has them at number fifteen for what it's worth right now. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm, I'm well, just throwing it out yeah, there. Yeah. Well, I think they have an uphill battle to be a one seed. If right? they go undefeated, well, they have to get it if they go undefeated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but they might drop. You know, they could drop. They've a game. played all their hard games with the exception of at New Mexico. I think is the one you want to circle. Who, so who are these? Who are these three teams you're off on? <laughs> Okay, I'm off on these three teams. All right, I'm going to start off with the uh, the defending champions, oh. the Virginia Wahoos. Mm. Um, they have no offense, as you saw. Boston College, who's not very good this year, Boston College beat them without their pet with one without the, either their best or second best player in they're, Boston last week. Right now, they're 35th or 36th in Ken Palm's rankings. Yeah, but somehow they're in the top 25, living off of the legacy. I don't think I think they might make the tournament, but they are going to have a fast exit, I believe. Okay, so they're already someone you're looking to fade early uh, when it they comes can't tournament score. time. They can play defense. I think they have the 200th rated offense. Very on brand for them. 206th offense, yeah. Kempom, number one defense, slowest tempo in the land, uh, and they are one of the worst three three point I shooting mean, teams. Only that, seven, nine teams better in the in the. Does nation. UMBC have a chance of getting in? Yeah, <laughs> that would be they awesome. They do. They do, but I mean, we'll see how the con they got to win their conference, which Vermont is in. So I don't know that they will do that. But um, what am I saying here? Uh, you don't like Virginia, yeah. for the obvious reasons. Private who's school. A, who's another who's, who's another one you're off on? I'm gonna uh, see. I purposely gave big schools here, and and uh, I'm gonna go Kentucky. Mm. Ooh. Kentucky, a team that's already lost to Evansville, already lost to Utah. Now, I do think they're incredibly young, so obviously they're going to get better as yeah, the do, season goes don't we, along. Don't we fall for this every year with Kentucky where yeah. they, they have these freshmen who don't know what the hell they're doing, but Calipari eventually gets them I just think, ready to go as the season goes along? Potentially, and like I said, the field is so wide open. If you get the right bracket, it's possible. But I, I just think when I watch they almost lost to Georgia the other night. I just don't see this team being very, very – you know, I know they, did, they beat Louisville, so I guess – if they were to, con to to play like that every time, then maybe they would have a shot. But they're young; they they haven't been consistent, and I I, I I'm going to fade them. I think they might win a, a few in the tournament, but they're not gonna, they're not going to the final four. I don't think. Early fade for Colby. Who's another Who's another early the, fade okay. team you're out on? Who's a skunk beer in the Colby <laughs> six pack? Yeah, this one I have no logic of saying besides 
on the road they've struggled a little bit. At home they've been money, and I think mm. talent wise they have as much talent as anybody in the nation. But I'm gonna say the Maryland Terrapins. Ooh. Ooh. And and they're, they're they're incredibly talented this year. So, but I th- I'm not I don't trust Mark Turgeon in the NCAA tournament. That's my angle, and also away from uh, College Park, they have not been amazing away. You named three teams with one thing in common, one very glaring thing in common. None of them shoot the three ball. None of them shoot the three ball well. And I think that's the ultimate, at least come tournament time, that's how you get beat, right? If you can't can't get hot and you play one of these small little fucking whippersnapper rec league teams from a Midwest with five white guys who set screens and drain buckets like Northern Iowa. Northern Iowa was good this year, man. I was gonna, I, they almost made my list. Oh, no, they did make my list for underrated. Well, yeah. let, transition, yeah. but that that's, to me, that that's what you circle. And that's, uh, Kentucky, that's classic Kentucky. I mean, UNC is probably in a similar boat if you look at their profile. UNC is not going to make the tournament. Isn't that crazy? North Carolina is not going to make the tournament. I, I mean, it's oh. early. It's early, but there's a strong chance they are not going to make the tournament this year. How about this, man? I've heard people mention that the Atlantic 10 might be better than the ACC this year. Wow. AC- <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, the ACC is not great. It's really down this year. Not great. Who's the best team? Who, who's the fourth best team? Because you got to go Florida State, Louisville, and Duke <laughs> are good. Everyone oh. else, you figure it out. Hokies, baby. Maybe. Hokies. Hokies. Maybe. Something's got to go right for me, right? Uh. At some point. <laughs> I mean, seriously, at some point. Yeah, at some point, right? Ryan, before we get to uh, Colby's three teams he's on for college basketball, March Madness. Oh, my God. Breaking news. From, this is your pubic service announcement. Manscaped has just launched the lawnmower 3.0. Fire it up. We're talking college basketball with the host of the College Experience. And what is more a part of the college experience today than shaving your bush? If you're in a dorm room, if you're on yeah. campus hooking up with co-heads, you can't have you, a yeah. You can't, can't be having a hairy bush in these <laughs> modern times. Again, I'm I'm old fashioned, but even myself, I've embraced the lawnmower 2.0 and the lawnmower 3.0. I enjoy the uh, quiet stroke technology. I enjoy trimming my pubes with 7,000 RPMs. Jeez. In the words of Tim Allen, oh, 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 more power, baby. <laughs> Doesn't this have an LED light, too? If you're in college, you're on ecstasy. That's going to be fun by yourself, right? You're rolling. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, well, let's let's be careful, guys. Let's be sure. careful. You never know what could happen. No, no need for an accident. <laughs> exactly. And, and they don't have accidents because they have an improved skin-safe technology. No nips, no cuts. You're not going to be like Mike Vrabel cutting off your own dick here. <laughs> You're in good hands. <laughs> what the fuck? He said he would be willing to cut his dick off to win a Super Bowl, oh, okay. coach of the Tennessee okay. Titans. Okay. <laughs> Again, get twenty percent off and free shipping with the code SGP Manscaped.com. Twenty percent off and free shipping with the code SGP at Manscaped.com. As always, your balls will thank you, or in my case, ball, huh? Singular. All right, Colby, let's do it. Let's talk about the three teams you're on: college basketball. Uh, Mike, if I got my bracket, who am I already moving on? Well, well, it's it's tough because I wanted to go a little off the radar, but like we mm. talked about, Northern Iowa, Northern Iowa plays in the Missouri Valley, which has had a lot of success in the NCAA tournament. But I can't pencil them in yet because they are right there with Drake and Bradley, uh, even Missouri State to a certain extent, but especially Drake and Bradley that at the top of of the Missouri Valley. So I, they still could not win this thing. And maybe not get in, but they've won at Colorado. Colorado, Colorado's really good. They got a, a, a they got a guy named McKinley Wright that's going to be in the NBA, I think. But uh, if they get in, they're going to be a dangerous team to play. They can all shoot. They got AJ a season, Green, season point guard AJ Green. And yes, this this yes. AJ Green's playing ball. Ooh, woo, woo, coming mm. with heat. Mm. Uh, and you know, oh, nor- hot, 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 hot. Northern Iowa's got a track record, man. When they make the tournament, a lot of times they go deep, man. They they beat. Shaka Smart in Texas a few years back. You yeah. got to have yeah. one corn-fed team in your, uh, you know, they, there's at least one, like, super white corn-fed team that kind of goes on a run in the uh, college championship. And maybe, it, or, you know, March Madness. This, it may be Northern <laughs> Iowa. And, and my second pick, I'm going to go with Wichita State. They had a big win tonight. Ooh, uh, against Shockers. Memphis. Yeah. You got to love the Shockers, right, Kramer? 
Yeah, it's a shock of wheat. <laughs> uh, I'm big into wheat. But, Thank you. But Greg Marshall, you know, they had their struggles the past year or two. You know, they got upset by Marshall in the tournament. And uh, and then last year they missed the tournament, so I think they're they're kind of come back strong. They're much more experienced this year. Give me the give me Wichita State to do a little damage in the NCAA tournament, and uh, and the third one that I'm gonna just take a shot. Thirty first in uh, Ken Palm, so mm. he likes them. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shot on this one here. Uh, this is the only one from a major conference that I, that I threw in there. I'm gonna say the Arkansas Razorbacks. Oh. Eric Musselman, Ooh. former Nevada coach, went over to we Arkansas. Li- we like Musselman. Yeah. Now, when was the last time Arkansas made a run in March Madness or <sighs> any sort of post? It, I can't recall. I'm just trying I mean, to think. In the of 90s it. with Nolan Richardson, well, they won a well, couple was national like championships. 40 minutes of hell or whatever. Yeah. But you think Arkansas, are they are they a potential? Like, how far? Are we talking Sweet 16? Is that. I'm thinking Sweet 16, but, but, but look, I mean, all of this depends. Like, w- part of the fun of this year is, like, I don't think. Like when when you look at sixty four teams that or sixty eight teams that make it, with the exception of the sixteen and fifteen seeds, or maybe maybe some of the fourteen, I think everyone else has got a shot to actually go deep. Yeah. yeah. So that's what's going to be great about this this year's March Madness. It, it, and then of course uh, four one seeds will get to the final four. It, it could be. <laughs> I, I mean, Michigan but, State's I mean, playing great right but now. But even yeah. the one seeds who ends up being the one seeds probably are going to be different than. You know, they may not even be in the yeah. top ten. Hopefully, yeah. Michigan State can keep playing well and drag the Hokies into the into the field. Do you have the uh, ticket? No, I, I, oh, I'm okay. just saying that. No, Virginia, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Tech beat them. Yeah, in Maui, right? Yeah. yeah, it's a quality win for the Virginia Tech. Just Hokies. two public schools having a good old fashioned uh, blue collar battle in Hawaii. You gotta love how open the ACC is. A perfect opportunity for Mike Young to for to get to get a berth in the first year. Easily, like by far, the best coach of any of the teams that I root for, he, by by a mile. He looks like the bad guy in Beverly Hills Cop too. He definitely <laughs> doesn't look like a guy that would be able to relate to a guy named Landers Nolly. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't look. He, he's like an old white guy he, who looks like he, he doesn't. Sleep. He didn't. He didn't remember Beverly Hills Cop too's villain. You know what I mean? Let me down. It, is banana in the tailpipe? Do, right? do, do, does Nolly make the All ACC team? Right now, right? Got probably, to. probably, right? He's scoring yeah. buckets. Yeah, probably. Incredibly I'd have to take a great. look at all f- all the teams. and you know. That team lives – like, they, if he doesn't score, they can't score. Did you watch that Q's game? Yeah. That was I impressive. Mean, I, I, they I came didn't back, watch the whole got, thing. got the win. That, they, uh, you know – Q's are down, I, though. I am excited for college basketball this year, Sean. Now that I've formally <laughs> – Guys, catch that Michigan Purdue game tonight. Now that I'm overtime? now that I'm formally retired from baseball, I really have nothing else to look forward <laughs> to. Yeah, I'm 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 getting into it now. I mean, the Eagles are out, so it gives me even a more of a head start <laughs> to uh, get into college basketball. Looking all forward right. to getting into it all season. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Anything else you want to throw out there? Make sure you check out Colby Dant, the college experience on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. New <laughs> feed coming soon. There we go. And uh, Venice Underground Wednesday. I'll be doing oh, uh, awesome. It's a great show. Townhouse in Venice Beach. If you're in the area, come on out. Check that out. And uh, check out Ryan Kramer on Instagram. <laughs> uh, Kramer centric. Check check the Sports Gambling Podcast uh, out on Instagram. We're killing it lately. Check me out on Twitter at Sean T. Green. <laughs> For the Sports Love Gambling it. Podcast, <laughs> I'm Sean, stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Well, Sean, uh, thank you for plugging the Instagram, but I'm still only at 242 followers. Seven so likes. Get me up to 300, and I will post the sixth picture. Wow. Five posts, Kramer. <laughs> Let it ride. <laughs>